Dinner. Here we are, live again. I shall come down, give everybody a little moment to connect. Okay, so here we go. Monty Fresh, how do you do? Okay, so I'll just let you know what we're going to do in tonight's class. So tonight's class, I, I want to try and keep this. Um, most of the classes that we've been doing on here on the Instagram, we've been keeping to sort of like a beginners intermediate kind of level so I kind of want to keep it into that sort of bracket so basically the Thursday night class is that's what it's going to be it's going to be a, a more stripped back uh, version of maybe what you might get if you come to a full class which might be just intermediate so but I also know that a lot of people who've been doing the classes on here are beginners <clears throat> so in saying that I also realise now that we've been doing quite a few of these, so um, you'll be starting to get in the, the, into the swing of it and you'll start recognising some of the poses that we're doing. Maybe you're, you're finding yourself connecting to your breath a bit more, so your yoga experience at the end of it is, you know, you've got that feeling of well-being and, and chilled outness, yet still feel like you've sort of worked hard. So now you've kind of got the structure of all of that in. Tonight's class is going to be about building strength. So ways that we can, you know, because sometimes when you're in, in plank and, you know, like the press up position, it can be really hard because your hips weigh so much weighing down. So, so really what we want to do is start to build the strength up around that sort of part of the body. So we're going to do my personal favorite, the core and like the lower back and things like this all of them things that just help keep the, the body stable which will help you know when you go to do the um the poses again you'll find that you're much you know you because of this area is stronger you're you know you're more stable in the asana or in the pose itself so but in saying that though if we're in plank and, and you're thinking oh my god just drop your knees down to the floor if you can hold it for one or two breaths that's great you don't have to hold it all night each little bit that you do just builds that little bit more strength for the next time okay so i think everybody is on board we'll come to the front of the mat and remember we're all the way through this practice it's it's your breath really that brings you through the practice so if you if you are struggling you'll find that you you've gone to a really short breath so if if that's the case lift out of it a little bit reconnect with the breath and then you everything will calm down the whole nervous system and everything will calm down when the breath comes in and then you'll you know you get more strength from that so come into the front of your mat bring your feet together lift your toes try and get air between every single toe and then bring them down to the mat and take a little squeeze of the mat with the toes and then stand up nice and tall close the eyes give the shoulders and the arms a little shake out just a little roll let any tension go out of the shoulders tummy is relaxed and just start to inhale and exhale in and out through the nose Take a big inhale, fill yourself all the way up, fill the belly up, fill the chest up, as much air as you can get in, and then a nice long sigh on the exhale, and as you sigh, just let them shoulders relax down the back, let the body sink down towards the floor, release any tension, again, big inhale, fill yourself all the way up, 
and just sigh and release on the exhale. And then just return to gentle, normal breath. Tummy is relaxed. And in your mind, just bring your focus down to the soles of your feet. So you don't want to feel like you're tipping forward or rolling back like all the weight is in your toes or you're tipping backwards or the feet are rolling in or out to the side. Just adjust the feet so you can feel the whole of the flat of the foot into the ground. This is pad banda. This is your banda, your connection down into the floor. So from there, we're going to lift energy up. So we do that by lifting the thigh muscles and engage the thigh muscles. As you do that, you can feel your pelvic floor wants to lift. So just gently lift the pelvic floor as you do that. Let your tummy come in. And then just keep that nice support around the core. So we're going to try and keep this engaged as much as we can throughout the whole practice. So there's plenty of room for the breath. The breath happens up here and, and the lungs are up here. So... Keeping this engaged, start to inhale into the chest now. On an inhale, open the eyes, make a big circle with the arms, bring the hands together above the head into a prayer, and then reach through the fingertips as if you're trying to touch the ceiling. Push into the feet, look up to the hands, and on an exhale, bend the knees, fold forward, and just let yourself hang over the legs. So you really want a good bend in the legs. Let your chest come down towards your thighs. Shake your head out, yes and no. Give your arms a little shake. But keep the tummy drawn in so the breath is staying up into the chest, into the back. But just let the shoulders relax. And then nice deep breath so you can feel the ribs expand. On an inhale, slowly roll up through the spine. As the head rises, open the arms. Reach up, bring the hands together into a prayer. Look up to the hands. And then exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up, salute the sun, reach through the fingers, exhale, swallow dive forward, and this time not as much of a bend in the knees, but still soften the knees, and then just let the top half of the body relax again, you can shake the head out, shake the arms out, keep that little bend in the knees, keep the tummy drawn in, breathe into the back. And let the crown of the head just hang down towards the floor. So you really want the weight of the head is just lengthening the vertebrae in the neck. You'll feel a, a release here in the lumbar. And as the hamstrings start to open up, this release will get bigger and bigger. On an inhale, slowly roll up through the spine as the head rises. Open the arms, try and get big rotation in the shoulders, bring energy up into the shoulders, reach up, look up, and exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun. Reach up, look up. Exhale, this time, straight legs, tummy is in, chest is lifted, I fall forward. So once I'm, my legs want to bend, I kind of want to be at that place where I'm just, just, where they're just straight, and they may be wanting to go, but then just let the top half of the body completely relax there. So the more you push, your knees will bend and then you'll be shortening the hamstrings. So from wherever you're at, if it be up here, don't forget you can use your yoga block just to balance. You can have it any way. But all the time on your exhale, you're just thinking, just let go of the top half of the body and just... Let everything sink down towards the floor. So it's not a push, it's just a, a release. The top half of the body isn't doing anything, so it, it doesn't need to be active. It can be completely relaxed. Everything is happening through the hamstrings and in the glutes here. Soften the knees, inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms, reach up, look up. Exhale the hands to the heart space.
Good job. Inhale. Salute the sun. Reach up. Look up. Exhale. Swallow dive forward. Tummy in. Straight legs. Bubble forward. Bend the knees, bring the hands down to the floor and then sit down into your invisible chair and then roll your palms open to face the front of the room and on an inhale, keep sat down, raise your arms and look up between the hands. So if you lift a little and just tuck the tailbone under, draw the belly button in and then sit down into your chair and then reach up from the middle of the back and the middle of the chest and look up between the hands. So you can bring your hands together into fire hands like this and then bring your chin level with the floor and then try and bring your biceps alongside your ears and then reach again and then lift the head look up. So strong this is a lot of muscles active so big breaths. Open the arms, straighten the legs, exhale forward breath. So again, the more you can release the top half of the body, that feeling of that big back bend that we have is just release it. So let it counter that <clears throat> asana by relaxing. Every exhale, you can just shake it off. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Open the arms, reach up, look up. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun, reach up, look up. Exhale, fall forward, tummy in. Sit down into your invisible chair. Inhale, raise your arms, look up. Uttakasana. And then on an exhale, bring your left forearm and lay it across your thighs. Right hand down to the floor. And then inhale, roll the right shoulder open, reach up. And see if you can turn the head and look up to that right hand. Nice big breaths, keep sat down into that chair. Well done, inhale, raise your arms, look up between the hands. Exhale, right forearm across the thighs, left hand down. Inhale, roll the left shoulder open, reach up, look up. Inhale, Uttakasana, chair pose. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward bend. Exhale. Inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms, reach up, look up. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, open the arms, reach up, salute the sun. Exhale, fall forward, tummy in. Bend the knees until you can bring the hands down to the floor and then step back into a press up position. So bring your shoulders over your wrists. If you need to drop your knees like this, that's absolutely fine. But if you can, lift the thighs, lift the pelvic floor, tummy in, push into the hands and look down between the hands and big deep breaths. Remember, you can drop your knees at any time. And well done, drop the knees. And then in one movement, we're going to bend the elbows as we exhale, lowering the chest and chin down between the hands. And then as we inhale, slide through onto your tummy, elbows are in, and lift the head, look up. Shoulders are back, chest is lifted, hips are down on the floor. Well done, exhale, come down, turn the toes under, <coughs> push all the way back until the heels hit the sit bones and then push the heels down to the floor, coming into your downward facing dog, walk the heels up and down, shake the head out, yes and no, remember you can drop to your knees if you need to, but just stretching the back of the legs out one at a time. Head is relaxed, nice deep breaths.
push both heels down towards the floor, turn your tailbone up to the sky, head is relaxed, inhale lift the head, look up and on the exhale step or walk your feet forward between the hands, lift to a flat back, inhale, ah, exhale forward bend, inhale come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, look up and exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow dive forward, come in. Inhale to your press up position. Again, if you need to drop the knees, that's fine. Push into the palms, tummy in, look down between the hands. Well done, drop the knees to the floor, bend the elbows, bring the forearms down to the floor. So trying to keep the forearms on the floor, see if you can lower the chest and the chin between the hands and look along the floor. Lift the elbows, inhale through onto the tummy. Elbows are in, shoulders back, and inhale, push into the palms. Exhale, turn the head to the left, see if you can see your left ankle. Inhale to the center, exhale, see if you can see your right ankle. Inhale to the center, exhale down, roll over the toes, push into your downward facing dog. Push both heels down towards the floor as you tip your tailbone up towards the sky. Push into both hands, big deep breath. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward. Lift to a flat back, exhale to a forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun. Exhale the hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, fall forward, tummy in. Inhale back to your press up position. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down to the floor and onto your tummy. And then turn the feet flat. So what you want is to be feel like your, your tummy is pushed into the floor okay so it's important here that <clears throat> normally we're kind of breathing up and into the chest but just while we do this little sequence and the tummy is on the floor it's really important that you breathe into your uh, belly button so if you just do that now while i'm talking just feel like and you breathe into your belly button you'll feel like or your lower back lifts up and down a bit like when you breathe normally and, and your tummy goes in and out so what this is doing it's creating um we call it the airbag effect i mean but basically what it's doing is it's so the internal organs are going to move up towards the underneath of the spine and support the spine from that side so it's important that you breathe into the tummy because these muscles here in the lumbar are going to be doing a lot of the work in this next little section so all the way through this section think breathe into the belly button and nice big deep breaths as well okay so here we go so I'm settling my one pack into the floor there lovely okay so the hands are going to come forward shoulder width apart and reach out in front again your back toes are flat and they're going to stay uh, on the floor Okay, so big inhale into the tummy. Exhale. On your next inhale into the tummy, you're going to use the back muscles to lift the chest and the head a little. And then you're going to raise the arms and reach forward. So the feet aren't off the floor, they're still down. Breathe into the belly and look up through the hands.
please Dave that's enough okay make a pillow for your head with your hands then shake your hips from side to side and again just keep breathing into the tummy then big breaths into the tummy will just release any tension in the lumbar okay so exactly the same again breathing into the tummy hands are forward and this time bring your toes together so the toes touch so breathe into the belly inhale exhale inhale use the back muscles lift the head and the heart raise the hands and then lift the feet try and keep the toes together reach through the fingers big breaths into the tummy Well done, make a pillow for your head, shake your hips from side to side, nice big deep breaths. Well done, so inhale, come up a little bit, so this time the hands are going to come out to the side, so you don't kind of want the shoulders to slump forward like this. If you sort of lift them up and roll them back, see how it already starts to help lift the chest. So think shoulders are back, drawing down the back, breathe into the belly, big inhale, exhale. Inhale, use the back muscles, lift the head and the heart, and raise the arms. Well done, make a pillow for the head, shake your hips from side to side, nice big deep breaths, release any tension in that lower back. And then, coming back up this time, toes together, hands out to the side, shoulders rolling down the back, breathe into the belly, inhale, exhale. Inhale, use the back muscles, raise your arms and then lift the feet. Big breaths into the tummy. And make a pillow. Shake your hips from side to side. Good job. It's not easy, is it, this lying round on the floor? Big deep breaths. Every exhale, just ah, uh, let any tension go. It's amazing how good that ah uh, sort of feel, makes you feel, really. <clears throat> okay, so this time we're going to bring the hands around the back and into fire hands. So we're going to keep breathing into the tummy, bring the hands around the back and into fire hands, and then before you even start. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and draw the fingertips down towards your feet and see how that lifts you up already. So, big inhale into the tummy. Exhale. Inhale, use the back muscles. Point the fingers down, lift the head, look up, big breaths. Well done, release, make a pillow for your head, shake your hips from side to side, breathe into the tummy. Good, okay, so last one of this little sequence is we're going to bring the hands around the back and into fire hands again. Toes are together, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift and point, and then raise the feet. Well done, release, make a pillow for your head, shake your hips. 
shake your feet from side to side release any tension in that lower back And then when you're ready, just coming up and onto all fours and then make some time for our cat pose. So exhale, tummy in, turn the tailbone under, really draw the belly button in and at the same time push into the hands so you feel the shoulder blades spread around the back. Let the crown of the head hang down towards the floor. And as you inhale, just let the tummy completely relax. And just sink into that lower back and as you do tip your tailbone up draw your shoulder blades together and let your chest roll up between the shoulders and look up so you're opening all of the front of the spine and closing all the back and then closing all the front of the spine and opening all the back inhale open Exhale, close. Inhale, open. And exhale, come down to a flat back. <clears throat> and then spread the fingers out on the right hand. So you really want to get sort of as wide as you can on the floor. And then bring your, ha your hand over so you can lean straight down so you want your shoulder over the top of your wrist uh, over the top of your elbow over the top of the wrist so you feel like you're really pushing down through that hand and then draw this elbow back so you feel like you're really pushing down into that right hand and then see if you can raise your left leg up behind sorry ignore me raise your right leg up behind push into that right hand raise the right leg and try and lift up through the heel so you're not rolling open to the side you just lift them straight up through the back heel and then bring the left hand forward look down between the hands and nice big breaths so lift the hand and, and the foot and then down so up and down and then you can rest at any time well done and back to all fours spread the fingers out on the left hand raise the left leg so remember try and keep the hips square and lift up through the heel of the foot and then reach forward with the right hand Look down between the hands, nice big deep breaths. And then lift and drop. Now we're going back to all fours and then push the sit bones all the way back towards the heels open the knees and let the fingers come forward and let the forehead come down towards the floor big breaths well done inhale come up so this time <clears throat> you want to keep our shoulders square to the front of the mat and uh, our, our view our vision where we're looking is kind of right between our hands and then the right knee is just going to lift straight out to the side like this so what you don't want to do is let the hips roll and the shoulders roll like this so think shoulders are planted and looking down and it's just the knee comes out to the side and then back down so we will start inhale up exhale down inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale too easy that one so we'll do that on the other side 
just the left knee raises so don't let the hips turn or the shoulders inhale up and down up and down inhale up and down up and down one more inhale up and down well done sink back to your child pose have a little rest okay so if you just the best way to do this is if you come up to kneeling and I'll just show you uh, this next one. So it's kind of what we've just done, but with like a little add-on. So if the add-on is too much, just do what we did originally. But if you can, I have great faith in you. Okay, so we're going to do that thing again where you want your shoulders straight. And then the right leg is just going to come out to the side and then... See if you can straighten the leg out to the side. So it would come up and straighten the leg. See if you can hold it there. And then bring it all the way back. Lift up through the heel. And then bring it down to the center. Okay, so that would be one. So we'll do 50 on each side. So, and we'll start at number 45. Okay, so when you're ready, right leg lifts up, straighten the leg and hold, and then draw the leg back, lift up through the heel, and then bring the knees together, inhale up, straighten the leg, draw the leg back, lift through the heel, and down, lift the knee, straighten the leg, let it come back, lift up through the heel, knees together, last one, inhale up, straighten the leg, lift up through the heel and bring the knees together. So we'll go straight to the other side, set yourself, inhale, raise the left leg, straighten it out to the side and then back, lift up through the heel and bring the knees together. Inhale up, straighten, and then back, lift up through the heel, and then together. Inhale up, straighten, back and lift, and down, and then last one. Inhale, straighten, inhale. Knees back together, open the knees, coming back to your child pose, nice big deep breaths, let your tummy relax between your legs. You can make a pillow for your head or keep your arms outstretched, whichever is most comfortable. Okay, and then coming up to kneeling, so what we basically have here now is we have option number one, which is lift the knee out to the side. So depending on this is all dependent on where we are and where we're strong, really. So if the second one is making you wobble all over the place and you're probably better sticking it at the first one and just getting that strong. And then maybe, you know, if you want to repeat the class on the, my YouTube channel or something, you can. Uh, build up to it you know I mean Rome wasn't built in a day I wasn't on that job so okay so this next one is again it's 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 like an add-on to what we've just done now it is difficult and the, but this is where we're working we're building we're working to build this strength so if you get one or two and you think that'll do I'll go back to doing the first one we did or the second one we did all of this is absolutely fine. Yoga is about listening to yourself and thinking, okay, take this option. And I can do this option with discipline and control. And that's where the strength and everything is going to come from. Okay, so I'll show you this next one. So we're going to start by taking the 
right leg out to the side, straightening the right leg and then seeing if you can raise the left hand out to the side and then the hand comes forward and the heel comes up and then they come in together and open out to the side and back. So you have that super simple. <laughs> like I say, you know, we're building up. These are the things that we're building up to. So if you can do the first ones, it means that further on down the line, you know how to keep the strength building. How do you how do you keep your momentum going? in your practice and it's just little challenge after little challenge really and that builds strength builds connection with the breath so i think i've spoken far too much and i think we'll have a go at that so come into all fours so we're going to raise the right leg straighten the right leg out to the side and then see if you can raise the left arm out to the side see if you can hold that and then Bring the leg back and the arm forward, lift through the heel and the thumb and exhale the knee and the elbow together, inhale open, reach forward and back, inhale open, forward and back, we'll do one more, inhale open, forward and together and we'll straighten to the other side so left knee up straighten the leg right hand out hold and then hand forward heel back lift elbow together inhale exhale in open forward Together. Last one. And together and child pose, child pose. Sink into your child pose, let your tummy relax. Big deep breaths. Release any tension, let the heartbeat slow down. Just observe how you feel right now. Feel how your heart is beating, the blood coursing around your veins, full of oxygen, full of life. Well done, coming up to kneeling and then sitting down onto your left hip. Swinging your feet around to the front. So, well done everybody. That was all in the back of the body, all strengthening the back of the body. So now we've strengthened the back. It's time to strengthen the front a little bit. So we've got that lovely balance of uh, muscles in the back and muscles in the front. So core, you know, you, you hear that core all the time. Core this, core that, core the other. And it's not until you get one that you realize that you didn't ever have one. And when you have one, you start to realize that that is where all of your power is coming from. All of your energy, all of your ability to take the dog for a walk, all of your, everything to just hold your body upright, you need a core. So when I started doing yoga to today, I'm like just under a quarter of an inch taller than when I started doing yoga because now I have this uh, a muscle structure of a core that actually supports my spine and holds holds it holds it up you know up which is really good because I've had a lot of trouble with my spine in the past so any help you can get is better so but before that when I was heavy when I was like 19 stone I have this sort of tummy and I would crack, you know, everything was going down, you know, everything was, was pulled down by gravity and I didn't have this to lift up. So, and it exasperated sort of how my back felt, but I never really, it, it was never really in my mind as, as such until obviously I've come along onto this journey and then 
developed a chord and then I but I really realized just how important your core strength is now your core strength is not about whether you're uh, fat or thin or anything like that you know you can be big and yet still have a good core strength in your body so it's not like a, a, a weight thing that I'm talking about I'm talking about your internal strength that's going on inside so if you can do a few of these exercises a day this can like really really improve your energy that you have for that you're going to use in that day and that energy isn't just for the job that you do it's for the people that you interact with and everything if your energy is good then relationships will, will be good and strong as well so this is going to feel like a lifetime because we're going into the abs but believe me it's not long at all but just do as many as you can what we really want to do is to use the gym philosophy is like do as many as you can or, or do them all or until you fail so basically you go oh I can't do anymore so if you get to the point of like oh, I can't do anymore just lie down breathe into your tummy and then when we go on to whatever the next one is then join in on that because we're moving around kind of how we're targeting the different muscles in the tummy okay so we're going to start in our boat pose so you want to lift any muscles away from your sit bones bring your hands underneath your knees so if your back is arched like this this makes this really difficult feels like somebody's pulling you backwards so think shift the chest forward and draw the shoulders back and then bring the hands underneath the knees so you see how the spine is much straighter rather than bent so think that shoulders down and then see if you can lean back lift one leg up at a time and then see if you can get the shins to sort of run parallel with the ceiling and then see if you can bring your hands forward So we're just going to start by cycling the feet. Remember, keep a strong breath. If you need to, you can sort of pop your yoga block just behind you or a cushion. That can help feel, make you feel more supported. But you're still going to be activating the core. And then backwards. And then lie down flat, let the arms open, give your feet a little shake. So you can do little like prayer chops on the top of your thighs here if you're feeling any tension there. And just help any blood supply get up and down the legs. But really, these are like your little recovery bits. So take this opportunity to take big deep breaths. Okay, so coming back up and again, we're going to come into our boat pose. So you might want to try this and if it's too much, go back to the cycling, cycling the legs, but coming into your boat pose. So try and get the shins level and then bring the hands to the heart space. So as you inhale, you're going to straighten your legs and open your arms. And exhale close. Inhale, exhale. One more. And lie down. Big. Remember you can do them little chops if you feel any tension in the front of the thighs and these hip flexors here. You can massage them with your thumbs just until any tension leaves. And when you're ready, coming back up to seated. 
and again lifting any muscles away from your sit bones we're coming back to a boat pose so we get bring the legs up bring the hands to the heart space and we're just going to turn from one side to the other and down to lying down straightening the legs don't bend the legs let that blood run up and down the body again if you need to do just get that circulation running and then bend the knees draw the heels into the sit bones and then just slide your hands underneath your bum so the thumbs are touching palms are down sit down onto the hands and then see if you can straighten the legs up towards the seal so you can use the hands just to help support the lower back there shoulders are flat down into the floor and try and see if, just see if you can get your legs straight so when i first started doing yoga just getting the legs straight was hard enough so i want you to think about your left leg just focus everything on your left leg on keeping it exactly where it is. It wants to be still, straight, strong. So as you're focusing on that, as you inhale, the right leg is going to come all the way down until the heel touches the floor. Bear in mind you're focusing on the left foot. And then as you exhale, that right foot is going to come back up and join. So for then the focus goes to the right foot. Focus everything on the right leg. Keep that still, strong, inhale, wait, let that left leg come down, and exhale, bring it back up. So, I think you know how this goes now. <clears throat> we'll start with focusing on the left foot, and inhale, inhale and letting the right leg come down. So, at your own time, you can do these. But focus on whichever leg is the one up in the air, that's the leg your focus is on, not the one going down to the floor and back up. That will just do it on its own. See if you can do it slow with control. So you really want to activate the core as the leg comes down and then back up. And remember, always focusing on the upright leg. Well done. And bring the feet back up. And then just bend the knees and let the heels come down. Close the eyes and just take a few breaths. So we're kind of using this as our inversion as well. So we're keeping the legs up because we want the legs to sort of let all that blood drain down into, into the torso, around the heart, the internal organs, even into the head. And when you're ready, see if you can straighten the legs again. So this time you are going to use your forearms a little bit you kind of got to push into your hands and into your shoulders and as you you're going to take an inhale and as you exhale you want to push into the hands and see if you can just lift your hips up off the floor and down so you inhale up and down Last one, up, and bend the knees, straighten the legs, let the hands come out to the side. Take nice big breaths into your belly. Okay, so this time we're not going to have the uh, hands underneath the sit bones we want to try and straighten the legs so if the hands were what were really helping you and you've been using a yoga block just kind of pop the yoga block under just underneath your tailbone to help support the hips okay but if you can 
So we're going to bring the hands behind the head, link the fingers together. So I'll take an inhale. On the exhale, I want to lift my right shoulder up off the floor, reach up and touch the outside of my left foot. Inhale down. Exhale, left hand to right foot. One more each side, one, two, and straighten the legs, breathe into the tummy, big deep breaths. Well done, so bend the knees, lift the hips, slide the hands underneath the bum again, sit down onto the hands, and then raise the legs up into the air. So you have to really focus when you do this one. I shall show you first. So I'm going to, on an inhale, lower my legs all the way down to about an inch off the floor. And then open them as wide as I can and bring them back. And exhale them back together. So it goes inhale down, exhale as I open and bring them back up and around together. Okay, so set yourself, big inhale, lower the legs down, open the legs and exhale as you bring them back up and together. Inhale and down, exhale and as you roll the hips open and bring them together. Inhale down, exhale, open and together. Two more, inhale down, open the legs, back around as you exhale, last one of these, inhale down, open the legs, exhale back up, see if you can keep the legs up into the air, and then we're going to inhale, open the legs as wide apart as you can, and bring them down to the floor, and then back together into the middle, and exhale back up through the middle. So inhale, open, and exhale as they come down together and back up. Inhale, open, down, together, exhale as they come back up. Three more, open, down, together, and up. Two, open, down, together, and back up. Last one. Open, down, together, and back up, bend the knees, hug the knees into the chest, have a little roll from side to side, just use the floor to massage the back, and then straighten the legs down to the floor again, breathe into the tummy, big inhale, and then, oh, on the exhale, let any tension go. And then bend the knees, draw the heels into the sit bones and bring your hands down alongside your hips so you can feel that your feet are hip distance apart, toes are facing forward. Bring the hands down onto the floor and then inhale, step into the feet, tip your tailbone under, lift your hips up nice and high and then move them round to the left and make big circles just to release any tension from them. Last hip openers and core that we were doing, and then in the opposite direction. And then hug the knees into the chest. Little rock from side to side. And then bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand out to the side. On an exhale, lower the knees to the left and turn the head and look to the outstretched right hand. So if this top knee is high, that's okay. Let the bottom knee open down to the floor. Maybe just the weight of your hand on the top knee, but think the shoulders are relaxed. Nice big breaths. You might get a little click or a clunk. That's just the spine all realigning.
and then bring the knees back into the center hug them in a little rock forwards and backwards and then right hand to left knee left hand out to the side on an exhale lower the knees to the right turn the hands up to the left And then release, hug the knees in, and then open the knees a bit wider than your torso, reach between your legs, take a hold of your feet, and then pull down on your feet like you're trying to get your knees to touch the floor either side of your body, and then roll over till your right knee touches the floor, and then roll over till your left knee touches the floor. Really opening up that lower back, so we've done all of that work from the core, and just rolling any tension out of the lower back. And when you're ready, just coming down to lying down, ready for your Shavasana. Let the hands come out to the side, let the feet fall out to the side. Lift the head, lay the head down, and then lift the shoulders. Draw the shoulder blades down and away from the neck, and then lay the shoulders down onto the floor. And then just move the hips so you get them nice and comfortable, adjust the heels and let yourself just sink into the floor. Eyes are closed. Take a nice big inhale, fill yourself all the way up. And a big sigh on the exhale, letting yourself sink into the floor. Slowly starting to bring yourself back, gently moving fingers and toes, reconnecting with the breath. On an inhale, raise your arms up and over your head and on the exhalation have a real early morning stretch. Stretch through the fingers, stretch through the toes, bring yourself right the way back into the here and now. On an exhale, draw the knees into the chest, hug them in and gently roll onto the right hand side. When you're ready, with the eyes closed, come into a comfortable seated position at the front of the mat. You need to sit up on your cushion or your yoga block, that's absolutely fine. The eyes are closed, shoulders are relaxed down the back, and the tummy is relaxed.
a nice big inhale through yourself all the way up and a nice long sigh on the exhale again inhale and one last time take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your tummy and just take these moments for your gratitude practice today. What are you truly grateful for in your life? And just feel that gratitude throughout the body. Bring the hands to a prayer at the third eye. And then lower them down to the heart space, tip the chin forward. Look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Thank you very much. I know you probably don't like me now because of all that core stuff, but believe me, down the line you will thank me for it so i maybe see you in class tomorrow night if not i will see you back here on thursday all dave all night thank you very much everybody i love you namaste